right around the world. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. All right, well, here's a video topic we haven't done for at least a year or two now here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. So for the first time in at least a year or two, and the first for 2022, it's discussion time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Now, the reason this video is going out today, rather than my initial plan of a couple of weeks' time, was because today's content I didn't get fully ready yesterday. So what we were going to do today, I didn't get even half ready yesterday. So what we were going to do today will go out next Friday instead. So I've bought the discussion video ahead a couple of weeks, so at least I've got some content to get out today. Now the reason behind this discussion video is because something occurred to me on Tuesday that now makes old mate look like a roux short in the top paddock or a beer short of a six pack. Let me give you the backstory. Now my dates are a little hazy here, all right? Sometime in, I think it was somewhere between 10 and 13 years ago now, I was talking to a guy about music and he came up with what I thought at that stage was the most inane comment I think I've ever heard. Sometime as you get older, you'll find a track or tracks in your music collection that will escort you back to your childhood and teenage years. Now, when he said that, I thought, this guy's a roof short in the top paddock. I mean, the guy's dead set a beer short of a six-pack. What's he on about? That crap doesn't happen. Well, I openly admit, old mate is now a roof short in the top paddock because Tuesday afternoon, that is exactly what happened to old mate. So... For this discussion video, we're going to discuss music and tracks and your music collection. Do you find, when you hear a favourite track of yours or tracks or whatever, you're escorted back in time to your childhood or teenage years? I openly admit I thought the guy was nuts. Turns out old mate was nuts for not believing him. Let's discuss it. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Discussion Time returns here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for Pro Audio Fridays. And those of you who were looking forward to Mixbus 32C stuff today, I apologise. I didn't even get it anywhere near close to being able to video it today. So that video will go out next Friday. And this video was going to go out in a couple of weeks, but I've brought it forward, so I've got content for today. We are discussing music. And this comes off the back of what a guy told me uh, some, as I said, some 10 to 13 years ago. And I thought he was a roux short in the top paddock, like he's a beer short of a six-pack. Turns out, old mate. There's fodder for the holier-than-thou know-it-all experts, eh? Old mate's a roux short in the top paddock. All right, let me explain what is going on here, because I don't, I normally don't believe any of this garbage. Okay, I, but clearly this guy was right. Some 10 or 13 odd years ago, I was talking to a guy about music and he said, you know, in your music collection, it'll happen as you get older, you'll find tracks and you'll start being escorted back to your childhood and teenage years or youth years, whatever you want to call it. Tuesday Arvo, the other half had to go to work and I had to get some household chores done around the house. Now, the only way I can do that is I've got to put music on. If I have a YouTube video on, I'll watch the video. If I've got 3AW on, which is my favorite radio station, I won't get anything done. So I'll put music on. So upstairs, I, I fire up QMMP, so Linux's version of Winamp, basically. Grab a whole pile of music off my Plex server and start playing it. And I'm there doing chores, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I get these weird feelings. First up, now, all the music I mention in this video, I'll leave links down below for so you can go and check it out, and any time codes as well. First up was a track that absolutely blew my socks off when I first heard it, and it was in 1990. And it's Voodoo Ray by a guy called Gerald, the extended mix. Now, I originally heard that in 1990. And immediately, I felt like I was 10 years old. Now, my Australian viewers, I was in grade four. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Why do I feel like I'm 10 years old again? 
or the water all right absolutely massive track that that and a couple of others what is what really hooked me on to house club dance tech so on and so forth i don't call it edm <coughs> and i'm like well that was weird that was weird whatever a couple of other songs plays all of a sudden bump i'm russian out of 1992 the martian mix comes on right I now feel like I'm 12 years old. I'm in grade six. What the? What's going on here? This is weird, you know. So I fobbed that off again. No, whatever. Next up, and we've done a guess that track on this. Bjork, Big Time Sensuality, the JR, the JR Line Rock Wig Out Mix comes up. Now, why am I back in 1992 again? Then Chumba Wumba's Tub Thumping comes up. What the hell? Now I'm in 1997. I feel like I'm 17 years old. What's going on here? And then Taffy, all right, the 98, the 1998 remix has come out, right? And I'm like, I now feel like I'm at the end of 1998. Well, sorry, no, the middle of 1998. My apologies. The middle of 1998. What the? So... The middle of 1998 here, if you're if you're in school then, you're in your final year, almost your final year of high school here in Australia. Now, particularly here in Victoria, it's the end of what's called the VCE. Now, my Melbourne viewers will get where I'm coming from with this, all right? My interstate viewers, you'll have to convert that to HSC or whatever you guys have. Oh, this is weird. There's something's wrong here. And then... Um... Art Amnesia's Bits and Pieces. Now, Art Amnesia slash Moving Melody slash Patrick Prince, who's from Amsterdam, if my memory's right. Harold, Amiga God. Is that right? Bits and Pieces come up. Now I'm in 1995. What the hell's going on here? All right, whatever. Oh, well, something's wrong. Then Longview from Green Day's Arcs up. Oh, my God, what the... Then Der Meister shows up from Ramstein on back in the middle of the 90s again. I think it's the mid-90s. This is wrong. I, there's only a couple of metal songs I love. And then uh, Calling Elvis from uh, Dire Straits shows up. Why am I in 1992? Why do I feel like I'm 12 years old again? What's going on here? This is, this is all weird. Right? Then Sexus Sonics. I Thought It Was You, which is a remake of Herbie Hancock's I Thought It Was You out of, I think it's the mid-70s, isn't it? 74, 75, comes up. Now, the original, the, the commercial release of that track was garbage. I hated it. But there's a remix on that track, or, or sorry, on that EP that blew my socks off. I'll leave a link in the description below. And it's basically the Salt City Orchestra's Herbie Rides Again remix of it. Oh, for crying out loud. Then Sharp Boys, as Sharp Tools Volume 3 comes up. This is ridiculous. 1994. Um, Pizza Man, Sex on the Streets, slash Fat Boy Slim, Everybody Needs a 303. 95-ish. Then Mrs. Wood, uh, Feel It, the Scallywag remix comes out. Well, now I'm back in the mid-90s again. And then uh, ATGOC, Repeated Love, on summer of 1998. Um, Serious Danger, I, High Noon, ISB Remix, I'm in 1997. What the crap is going on here? And it's not like I'm, it, it, it's not like I'm, you know, 42 listening to it. It's like I, I'm 18, but it's taking me back to specific points in each of those years. And I'm thinking, is this guy right? This guy told me this some 10 or 13 years ago, and I thought he was a Rue Short in the top attic. What the crap is going on here? Then Slipknot's Prelude 2.0 comes up. Oh, my God. All right, there's something horribly wrong here. All right, really wrong. And then... And I'm like, this is weird. This isn't right. I can't be 42 years old. I'm 42 in six weeks' time for crying out loud. And I'm going back to my 
late childhood and early teen years, or teen years. The funny thing is, I felt it. Like, Kelvin Rotan, right, I believe, very special track to Old Mate. The extended vocal mix, very, very special track. I'm 14 years old. 1994, 95, that came out. I'm going around the house like I was 14 years old with that track cranked to high hell. I'm hoping my neighbours didn't hear it. This is ridiculous. This is, this is, this is horrendous. 42 years old and now I feel like I'm 14. What the crap is going on here? And it dawned on me then. This guy was right. It's old mate who was a rue short in the top paddock or a beer short of a six pack. Because I didn't believe him. And I'm thinking to myself, this, what the crap? What's going on? Why, why, why have all of a sudden am I playing some of these old tracks I love and I'm going back in time? But it's not going back in time as to, oh, yeah, well, that's 90s and that's 80s. It's going back to specific points of time. And he said, it'll remind you of things. And I'm thinking to myself, what the crap? Like Olive, Outlaw, the Space Brothers remix, late 1997. Don't know why I'm going to that. Uh, Essence, The Promise, the Space Brothers remix, which effectively Essence was the Space Brothers, it was just another pseudonym for them. That comes out in 1997, and I'm at the end of 97. And he's trying to tell me it'll remind me of things. It's not reminding me of anything. I mean, what was it? Uh, when did Sex of Sonic release? I thought it was you. I should know this. June 1997? No. No, no, no. It was later than that. Rotan released, I believe, in early 94. Chumba Wumba came out with Tub Thumping late 97. So that would put Sonic. I thought it was you, August? Can someone please, I'll, I'll have to have a look. I'll see if I'm right. I think it came out in August 97. Now, the thing is, is that I was told to be, you know, these would have, these would be, you know, I'd go back and remember life-changing things. I'm not remembering a damn thing. I'm just being transported back. And the only reason I can think is that they were life changes is because it's the first time I heard the tracks and thought, wow, you know, Rockford Files, she's sexy dancer, the, you know, original mix, which I've done a cover version of. All right, it's over on SoundCloud. I've done a co my own cover version of You Sexy Dancer. That's 1994 as well. 1994, 90, I think I heard it in 95. Again, another very special track to Old Mate. What the crap is going on here? You know, then I'm hearing stuff from Chantel, like Crystal, out of 2001. I'm 21 years old. What the? What's going on here? And it dawned on me. What I was told some 10 to 13 years ago was absolutely right. The only problem I've got is those specific times, I don't remember anything occurring. The only thing I can think of, literally the only thing I can think think of, or literally and figuratively and realistically, I mean, pick one, you'll be right, is that's when I heard the track. And I'm like, wow. You know, and I mean, it's weird because I don't believe in that crap. I, mean, I don't mean to sound insulting to people. I mean, if you do believe in that, that that's your want, you're entitled to. I'm not going to go after you. Okay, I don't do that. I thought the guy that told me this was a Rue Short in the Top Paddock. I am not kidding you. I thought he was completely Wallaby Ted's brother on this. Well, turns out I was cactus about it because I didn't think it ever happened. Right, because I'm like, it's whatever. It, it's just my favourite tracks. I've got a heap of favourite music, both on CD and on my Plex server. What the crap? Hang on, there's the other half. Hold on. Sorry about that. Um, you know, so what the crap? Why, why, why all of a sudden is this occurring? You know, what's going on? I, it, I was shocked because it dawned on me Tuesday night that 
while I was at work, this guy was right. I was being transported back in time to specific points in certain years. And I'm thinking, why, why, that, why, why am I being transported back to certain parts of certain years? And the only theory I could come up with, and I, I, I honestly, honestly admit this, it's got to have been when I first heard the track. Now, I don't like a lot of metal. There's only a couple of metal songs I like. That's Dare Meister from Ramstein and Slipknot's Prelude 2.0. Not a big fan of the punk stuff. Having said that, you know, obviously Big Audio Dynamite, The Clash, some of the tracks from them. Uh, some stuff out of Green Day, but not all of it. I mean, there's Longview, there's Warning. Uh, I think that that that's about it out of Green Day. They're the only probably the only two Green Day songs I like. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not a big rock pop metal fan. I'm just not. Electronic music, on the other hand, so dance house club. Um, you know, the MC a, a little bit of trance stuff. You know, Peppermint Lounge. MC Zodiac versus DJ Youth, um, you know, and then obviously Rolo, some tracks out of Rolo, you know, Huff and Puff comes on with Help Me Make It, the Deep Mix, 1996, Rolo Goes Camping, Get Off Your High Horse, the Big bar, big Bold Brassy Mix out of 90, I think it's 95 comes on. So I'm getting shot all over the 90s to various points in various years. And my only scenario, the reason it reminds me of that time is because that's when I heard these tracks. Now, JX's Dirty Son of a Gun, the CYB mix. 94, I think, 1995. Um, Indica, 1995. from Moving Melodies, 95, if my memory's right. I think it's the first time I ever heard that track. Uh, Club Heads, both their tracks, Club Hopping and Disco Hopping. Um, two huge, huge tracks, particularly Disco Hopping, because that features, that samples one of my all-time favourite uh, disco tracks, which is Patrick and Anders' um, Born to Be Alive. So all these tracks, and I'm getting shot all over the place, right? And I'm thinking, well, why am I now in, you know, let's say, middle of year 12, listening to Taffy I Love My Radio, the 98 remixes? Um, why am I, you know, that One Nation comes out with their version of uh, Bittersweet Symphony. Um, DJ Enrico versus Mark Van Dale with Water Verve, the DJ Bellissima remix. Um, Bora Bora from Da Hall, the Nalan and Kane remix, along with obviously the Nalan and Kane remix of Meter at the Love Parade, all nine minutes 52. Massive track. One of my all time favourite tracks. Now, I'm not a big Nalan and Kane fan. Beach Ball is one of the worst songs I think I've ever heard out of them. Um, you know, that's, you know, late 90s as well. That's 97, 98, 96, 7 and 8. Um, all these tracks, and I'm getting ping-ponged between the ages of 10 and the ages of 19, 20 years old. What the, what's going on here? You know, what? why am I feeling like I'm, you know, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19? And it's not a case of, oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's a case of I actually feel that old. You know, I'm banging along with the lack of sense of rhythm that I have uh, to these tracks as though I was that old. Now, I can't move like I used to because obviously, you know, I have a very bad back and everything. I'd still, you know, sore from fixing the diff in the 80. And, and I'm like, I'm not... 18, I'm not sick, I'm freaking nearly 42 years old for crying out loud. Yeah, all right, I admit, yeah, sure, I'm just a big kid. I always have been just a big kid. But this was this was another level. This was neck level. Right, this 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 was this was literally stripping 30 odd years off me. Almost. 
It's a bit much because that would only make me... Well, yeah, between 20 and 30 years off me, basically. I'm like, this is, this is garbage. This, this just doesn't happen. Right? There is no way in hell someone like me who... Yeah, music is a big part of my life. It always has been. My, the music I love is just no longer around anymore. Either it's deep back in the clubs and getting no airplay anymore, or those people I absolutely adore, the Kelvin Rotans, the Patrick Prinzes, uh, the Clubheads, um, you know, Norman Cook's, you know, early or late Pizza Man, early Fat Boy Slim stuff. I mean, I remember when he re-released Everybody Needs a 303 as Everybody Loves a Filter and Everybody Loves a Carnival. That's, you know, 1997, 98. It's redoing Everyone Needs a 303. And then Gangster Tripping comes out in, what was that? That was Better Life. No, that was Better Life Through Chemistry is actually Everybody Needs a 303. Uh, you've Come a Long Way Baby for Gangster Tripping and, and, and the Rockefeller Skank and... And right here, right now, that's late 90s, early 2000. You know, what is that, 1999, 2000-ish, somewhere around there? I'm still listening to those tracks today. You know, why am I, what's going on here? So what I wanted you to do for this discussion video is, do you do, have the same, well, let me rephrase that. Have you had the same thing happen to you? Have you found a track, and it doesn't matter how old you are, you know, maybe you're, a, you know, someone born in the, in the 60s and you're coming up through the 70s and 80s and you find that you'll hear a track out of the 70s and 80s and wham, you're back to being, you know, childhood or, or teenage youth years and you start, you know, attempting to groove along to the track like you were that old. Not your current age, but you, 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 your age when you were there. Look, I, I'm, I, if I ever find this guy, I will apologise profusely to him for thinking he was a Roosh or the top paddock and trying to make me believe this crap happened. And like I said, I just fobbed it off as, oh, yeah, whatever, mate. You know, you're nuts. No, it's old, mate. I'm the one that's nuts. Well, we know I'm nuts. We know I'm a Roosh or the top pack, a beer short of a six pack. And if you're a YouTube creator, you know, it's an advantage sometimes. But. I didn't think that would happen. I genuinely did not think that would happen. And here we are now. I'm nearly 42. And this has happened. It's like, what the? You, you Really? So, you know, let us know. Any of the tracks? Do you feel like you were when you first heard the track? Like, I'm, I'm going from 10 years old to nearly 20 years old. I was like, this crap doesn't happen. That's just, don't give me that garbage. I don't believe in any of that crap. No, I should have listened to him. So let's discuss it. The, the, the thing with me is, though, is I don't know, my only reasoning behind going back to those particular years is because that's when I heard the tracks. Because as I said, he said, it'll be, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll go back to certain life events and special times. Well, I'm, all I'm thinking about is, okay, well, you know, I remember when Tub Thumping, uh, Chumba Wumba bought out Tub Thumping. That's, what, mid to late 1997, whatever. Uh, Taffy, I love my radio, mid-1998. No idea. None whatsoever. Um, 1992. Uh Bump brings out on Russian, the Martian mix. I think, well, it was either 1992 or 3. I think it came out in 92 and I heard it in 93. Now, the only reason I can think of 93 is that's when I started high school. For my international viewers, primary school, my US viewers, you'd call it elementary. I think the same for my Canadian viewers um, and our cousins across the ditch. Um, primary school runs from the age of or five years, six years old, up until about 12 years old. And then high school here in Australia, depending on the school, you you start off in year eight, or sorry, year seven, which you're going 12 to 13 years old on average because you finish, you know, grade six at the end of your primary school. And then you go through high school until about the age of, you know, 17, 18 years old, uh, year 12, job done, and then you leave high school and it's like, right, you can either go on a gap year, start working, go to TAFE or go to university. Old mate didn't have the brain power to go to uni, so I went to TAFE. 
twice, two different courses. Um, so what I want you to do for this video, put your comments down in the section below. Regardless of your age, all right, I don't care how old you are. I'm, you know, six weeks time, I'm 42. I feel like I'm 82 some mornings, but anyway, that's a different story. Put it down in the comment section below. And depending on how this goes, we may continue this. Because I, I thought, I genuinely thought the guy that told me this was dead set a roost short in the top paddock. Turns out I am. Not that I care about it, but it was just a shock when it happened. Because that I didn't believe in any of that. You know, life-changing events. Well, the only life-changing event I can think of that occurred when was that I'd heard these tracks. You know, um, I mean, I don't know about the rest of the world. If you're a teenager or whatever in Australia or something, 1996 is when it came out. The Mac Arena, Lost El Rio, the Bayside Boys remix, and I, you could not get away from that track. You just couldn't get away from it. I know here in Australia, it was wall-to-bloody-wall -wall coverage of that track. It was horrendous. I mean, it was all right at the time. But then you go back and listen to it today, and I've got it, I admit, I've still got it. I've got it as an MP3. I go back and listen to it, it's like, oh, my God, what were we thinking? You know, or you go and watch the video on YouTube, and it's like, what the crap? Really? I mean, if you know the story behind the song, you'll also understand why you sort of look at it in today's light and think if it was released today in our woke society, it would be banned off the playlist of every radio station globally. So let us know. Has that ever happened to you? you you've, you've heard a track and it's taken you back in time and you start feeling like that age when you heard the track and a life-changing event. So I can't. I mean, you know, we're talking about stuff that happened you know, between 20 and 30 years ago. I've done a lot in the last 24 years. Is my mathematics right on that? Yes, my mathematics is right. I had to think that. Yeah, I know, you could see the mouse running around in my head. Um, I've done a lot in the last 24 years, and my memories, you know, obviously I've done a lot of drinking in my teens and early 20s, which probably doesn't help the fact either. But let us know. Do you find, we'll discuss this, do you find that you'll hear a track that you know from your, your childhood and teenage years and you're just sent flying back in time? And do you find yourself, in inverted commas, grooving like you did back then? I mean, old mate has no sense of rhythm when it comes to dancing. I mean, I've got two left feet. When it comes to dancing, I've got two left feet. I can't, I can't dance. I mean, another classic. What was it, 1998, 99 or 87, 88? Chris Rear brings out Let's Dance. 1989, uh, 88, 89, I can't actually remember. Uh, Steve Earle, Copperhead Road. And what the crap, I'm now back in my primary school years. So put it down in the comments section below, all right? Has this ever happened to you? All right. Have you been just going about things, a track comes on, and immediately you're sent flying back in time? And has anyone ever said what this guy said to me and you thought they were a roo short in the top paddock? Let us know, because I'd be interested to see what people's views is on this. Um, because, I mean, as I've said before, music is big with me. But my music tastes and my music listenability finishes very early 2000s, I think. Oh, Clock. Clocks by Coldplay comes up. That's early 2000s. You know, what the hell now? I'm in my, you know, early 20s. This is garbage. Stop it. And I'm, I'm telling myself to stop it. Talk about, but I'm glad no one was walking past the house. Or if they were, I'm glad they couldn't see me grooving along or attempting to groove along like I did when I was, you know, in my... Childhood and teenage years, I mean, fair suck of the old sauce bottle. So let us know. Has this ever happened to you? What track did it or what tracks have done it? And have you felt like you're an idiot? 
and we'll use old mate as an example with that so let us know let's discuss this as i said this is the only video i've got for the day-to-day -day, guys and um we'll, we'll see how this goes we may end up continuing this all right we'll see how we go share it find out from your friends if if, if a similar thing has ever happened uh, particularly if you're a music person which old mate is um i think music is paramount to old mate i know that sounds utterly ridiculous and my melbourne viewers will get this but you'd think after listening to 3aw all my entire life that music would have no part of me but it gets to the point where even 3aw is getting boring for old mate and i roll over to music anyway so let us know what you think has it happened to you if it has did you feel like oh this is just a song i used to listen to in my childhood and teenage years or were you transported back let us know let's discuss this here at old mate's backyard tech that unfortunately is it for pro audio fridays here at old mates enjoy your friday and i'll catch you around the channel tomorrow for weekend saturdays here at old mate's backyard tech have a good one This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.